welcome back to the channel. So let's make deep fried pickle corn dog. It was recently released in downtown Disney. It's a hot dog on a stick inside a hollowed out pickle dipped in cornbread batter, coated in panko breadcrumbs, and deep fried. Oh, then served with a side of peanut butter. Now, I don't know who came up with it. It sounds like a pregnancy craving, but I love fried pickles, I love corn dogs, and I wanna find out for myself if it's the best thing ever. All right, now let's prep our pickle dogs on a stick. Here I'm using large dill pickles. Now dry with a paper towel as much as you can because it's really wet from all the pickle juice. Use an apple core to core the middle of the pickle. Now this part gets a little messy because of the pickle juice. It kind of gets all over the place. That's why I have a plate underneath to catch all the juices. Now take a hot dog and stuff it into the pickle. This just looks so wrong in so many ways. Ugh, I feel so bad for the pickle. Slice off the excess and place it on a stick. So here I used a skinny skewer, big mistake. Don't do what I did, use a thicker and longer skewer instead. Now let's make the corn dog batter. Using a large bowl, add one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of yellow cornmeal, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, whisk until combined. Onto the wet ingredients, add one beaten egg, one cup of really cold milk. Add it to our dry ingredients and whisk until combined. You should have a thick consistency. Transfer our batter into a tall drinking glass to make it easier when we dip our pickle dogs. Now it's time to cook our pickle dogs, but first I'm using a toothpick to secure the hot dog and the pickle together because it's a bit of a loose fit. Then dip it in the batter. Now this is why you need to use a thicker skewer because the skewer that I used was coming off of the hot dog while I was dipping it in the batter, so that was my mistake. Roll it in breadcrumbs, make sure it's coated really well, and then you want to fry it in vegetable oil and turn it around with a pair of tongs and it should take about 3-5 to five minutes to cook. And we are done! This is our deep fried pickle corn dogs and I think this is kind of a fail because they don't look very pretty so hopefully they taste good. Also, I should have used a bigger and thicker skewer and as you can see this skinny one, it's just not holding the pickle corn dog very well. Dang, it's so big. Ah, ah. Crunchy. So this is the inside. You can see the pickle and the hot dog. I mean, it's good, guys. Mm. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Now let's dip it in. What's supposed to be is peanut butter, but my son is allergic to peanuts, so we don't have any peanuts or peanut butter in the house. But I'm using sunflower seed butter, which tastes very similar to peanut butter. So let's dip that. Oh. Oh, wow. I mean, it's not bad, but it's 
just okay. I mean, I think I prefer it without the sunflower seed butter. So I'm gonna take one more bite, but I'm gonna finish this in my ASMR mukbang channel. So if you guys are into ASMR eating sounds, head on to my ASMR eating channel, Hunger Cakes. Link is on the description box below. So is the pickled corn dog the best thing ever, Hunger Cakes fam? You know what? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I see myself making it again. I think it's a fun and tasty treat. I really like the combination of the crunchy exterior with the briny pickle and the salty hot dog. I think it's I think it's pretty good. However, I really don't care for the sunflower seed butter for dipping. It's supposed to enhance it, I guess, but to me, it didn't really do anything. So thank you for watching Hunger Cakes Fam. I'll see you guys in my other social media accounts and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.